a, a 2 0 loss today against West Orton. Not good there, yeah. When you, when you think of how hard we've worked to get here, I think that's our seventh game in the competition, to start the next preliminary round and take this long to get where we are, to get a good opportunity to be on the verge of playing the quarter final at home, I'm pretty disappointed in the performance made. We can talk about how windy it was and how difficult it was and how it was an important toss to win for them because it died down second half, but we were awful second half. I'm shocked, to be honest. Just how frustrating is that game? Yeah, I'm disappointed. I feel really bad for everyone that came today. You know, but in in the previous games we've, we've worked hard and we've, we've fought like tigers. Today we didn't. Second half we've just accepted it. Our shape was poor. We had too many men ahead of the ball. We could give it away. We, we never managed to gain any momentum. We couldn't put two passes together. We couldn't win a, win a header. Considering how you know we've, we've worked hard during the week, we knew exactly what to expect. Individuals were poor, which led you know disappointment. I'm pretty shocked at this minute. To be honest, what do you think was the difference between the two sides? First goal is important. Obviously, we've made a mistake. Jack's it happens. It's football. Just gone in. You know, didn't want to make that mistake. Obviously, we all make them. It's, it's happens. One nil down. But we got our composure back and then saw the first half out and then we had the win second half which did die down but we've just got too many people ahead of the ball. We had two midfield players and the white men were too high um, and number 10 was too high and we just couldn't gain any momentum until I made some changes but even then it was too late. Just individually and collectively were poor but I give them credit. They had a second half, I thought West Orton were excellent. I thought the back four won every header, the midfield won headers, they won tackles. They fully deserved the win. I've got no issues with that. Jack Donnelly and Jack Robson both came off of injury worries. It looks like Jack's he got an injury worry, right? It, it, it looked definitely it, def it definitely looks like it is, yeah, yeah. and uh, Jack's gone off with a nasty, you know, another the ball's been smashed off him, so he's off to hospital, so, hi, but, oh, we didn't lay a glove on him, we didn't lay a glove on him, which hurts. How proud are you for lads to get this far in the bar? I don't feel proud at this minute, no chance, I don't feel proud at all, you know, we had the players out there that are way better than what we've seen today. I don't feel proud, I don't, I don't really think it's a massive achievement what we've done, we've got the players in there, the club's backward, we've got the players, we should have, we should have gone as far as we've gone, we've cut so many of them, we should have gone further. I don't feel proud at the moment, I don't feel we've achieved anything, I, I really don't, I, I feel that, you know, we've let people down the day and that's what I think at, at this precise moment. How important is that we just put this result behind you then? I've told them, I've said I'm not, I'm not having it, you know, I'm not having the league picking it out. I'm not, I'm not having another achieving footballers, no chance. Um, we're, we're better than what we've seen the day. I'm, I'm really disappointed. I, I didn't enjoy the afternoon any more, any more than what the um, supporters did. Going into next week, obviously, we're playing the West Orton again. We're expecting another top game. Of course, it is. I have a James Tough in this league. We've got to be way better than that. Way better.